Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a four month prediction tarot reading. This is a reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the months of May, June, July, and August of 2022. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I appreciate it all. I've been reading for 32 years. I mean, it's hard to even say it's gone by so fast. I love doing this and I plan to continue right here. And I, again, I appreciate all of it. So if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. Don't ever try to make it make sense. Fridays are a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So of course, today's reading is a reading I don't do very often. Uh, next week, it could be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading or a love reading. I've also added a law of attraction tarot card reading, and that's been fun. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right. What advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Pisces need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Pisces? Messages for Pisces, please. Okay. Well, we will start here with the tarot. We're going to go month by month, May, June, July, August. Then we'll have the angel answers. Then at the end, we're going to have a message from Abraham Hicks. All right, this is May. We've got the Nine of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. June, you have the uh, Wheel of Fortune, the King of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. July, we've got the Magician, the Three of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Star. In August, you've got the Ace of Cups, the Empress, the Four of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords here. Well, if you're single right now, I feel like the best aspects or months for, for love are either June, July, or August. In May, I feel like you're going to have, especially those of you that are single, it's like they're telling you, get out and have fun. That may, may be the beginning of it all. Um, you have here, I love the King of Cups here for you, you and your own energy. Let's just see if we can get this on camera a little bit better. Um, you've got Aquarius here. You have four major arcana. Oh, let's make sure we take the ones from the bottom of the deck. Okay, I almost forgot that. You have here uh, quite a bit of water. So you've got all the elements, except actually, I don't think you have any fire in this. Interesting. Air, earth, water, it looks like. Oh, you do have fire. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, so with this, I do feel like they're telling you be bold, be courageous especially of those of you that have put a lot of effort into something, it will move forward. There's also an element with this about seeking the truth, having mental clarity. There's great mental clarity here. What I love about this in the clarifiers, especially with that nine of swords kicking off the whole reading, if there's some kind of uncertainty in your life that you've got, the everything you need is available to you. So with the king of swords, that's the master of communication, you may have somebody too with this that comes in, someone very important during this phase, this ne next energetic phase who comes into your life um, with that chariot energy, but it's a very mature energy. The chariot too brings a law of attraction element. It's bringing heaven to earth. It's success, it's victory, it's wish fulfillment, but it's also great stability. So if you've had some instability, especially if you're waiting on a move, you're gonna have a decision to make in May. And I do feel like for some of you, you're going to be in the right place at the right time and things are moving forward. And, but there might be somebody that gets left behind. That's what I get. There's going to be something about it that's bittersweet. So with that nine of wands, I tell you, don't give up. Okay, the best is yet to come for you, Pisces. You have a conquering spirit. You are here to have joy in this journey and for your life to expand. This is all just an earth school. You're here to have these experiences to allow your soul to ascend. That's the only reason we're really here. And I find it even in my own life, when I can look at something as my soul would see it, boy, does that leave me free. It's absolute freedom. I don't have to get into correcting something or, you know, it doesn't mean that I don't guide my own life. Okay. I still pay, pay my bills. I'm still a material being here, but there's more to me and I know that, and there's more to you. 
So in the May, I mentioned, when you see that Nine of Swords, it really is spirit telling you not to worry about something. Now, you also, too, with this, there's uncertainty here. The darkness is contrast. It's some kind of um, something that's not, feels like it's not known. Go inside, go in deep, meditate, quiet the mind, ask your angels. I do feel like somebody here is going to get a psychic reading, reading that's going to be accurate. And I'm not telling you to go out and do that. You can just keep watching YouTube for all I care. But with this, I do feel like you get some kind of information or more is revealed. They keep saying that more will be revealed to you. Well, what I'd also say with this, the benefit of the Nine of Swords is embracing our shadow aspects. Study your own archetypes. Go out and get Carolyn Miss. She has a maze, really. I'm sorry. Carolyn Mays has a book that um, really delineates all the architects. You can go to the library for it. You don't even have to buy it and get an idea of which archetypes are really the the ones that are guiding your life and you might find there's great freedom in that so with the page of wands you've got an uplifting energy here so get out with your friends you've got great companionship this is taking action by the way so you're going to have a decision to make but you've got action energy and clarity of thought to do it the page of wands will have you wanting to go out and sign up for a 5k if you've never done it before you know this is your friend who stands at the finish line you might have a fire sign friend with a sign for you right saying you did it you made it I mean it's just a wonderful I start laughing because this is the kind of energy you can't be in a bad mood around whoever this is so I do feel like you might have somebody here who's a confidant that really does want to see you win they see the best in situations they're a go-getters energy and it may be who you're attracting if you meet this person during may now you've got the single lady card here with the nine of pentacles and again some of you might not be single but for those of you that are it's represented but with that seven of cups you've got choices coming in now with the nine of pentacles this is the luxury card it's a card of absolute attainment so we love this with the Nine of Swords because whatever you're worried about, especially if it's financial, you'll see an increase. The Nine of Pentacles lives in this opulent garden. She's covered, the area is covered with the grape leaves, just like the King of Pentacles. You have money, honestly, you have money coming in here. It also, too, for some of you, if the worry with the Nine of Swords has to do with a big purchase, they're telling you it's available to you not to be worried about it because that could be slowing it down even more. But she, she worries for nothing. I also feel like, too, those of you that are trying to acquire something, you're going to make a con connection with somebody here that's going to help you with this. So I wouldn't hurry it along. I wouldn't be in too much of a hurry. I do feel like everything's going to work out. The universe has perfect timing, even when it seems like, oh, my God. you know. But we look back at things, and how many situations do you have where you go, yeah, that did work out. Yeah, I made it just by the, down to the wire there. Well, the universe doesn't think that way. The mind does. So with the Seven of Cups here, you may meet more than one person. You might also have an ex who is looking to come back, a return of a love. So with the Seven of Cups, again, we want to be meditating with that Nine of Swords. The tarot is your best friend that tells you the truth. And so what we want to always do with this is acknowledge the energy is around us, but we don't have to dive head first into it. So you can quiet the mind so that you can make the right choice. The, um, let's see, there's, I guess just two sevens here. You also have it in the chariot. Sevens are successful numbers in the tarot. So I do feel like the right situation is available to you. And I also feel like you know inside, you do know. So allow that, allow yourself to hear that whisper because that's really that higher wisdom that's speaking to you. So the Wheel of Fortune comes in. I mean, we have so many beautiful energies here. The Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, and even the Star. We could do the Empress here. It doesn't matter to me. They're all nice. You're going to have a turn of events in your favor. It's wish fulfillment coming in, and it all starts off in June. So now the Tarot does give indications in terms of timelines, but it's not as specific as astrology. So you could consult that too if you wanted more specificity because sometimes in a tarot reading, the energy begins, but it's not, it doesn't mean it's going to be completed by July, okay? It could certainly take you all the way into the next year with something like this. It's the wheel of life. It's a new cycle that turns in your favor. So I do feel like for some of you with reconciliation, you may have what feels like a chance encounter, but I think this person's been keeping tabs on you. They've been trying to run into you for a while, Pisces. 
Um, it's not at your work either. I don't see that. That's such an obvious move anyway, isn't it? It's like you're going to run into someone where they work. Okay. Um, you better have a damn good reason if you're a cross watcher for doing that. But anyway, I do feel like um, you're going to meet, you're going to meet up with somebody here that is from your past who does want more than a friendship or just how are you? If they seem incredibly enthusiastic, know that there's more to that. You're not reading into it. Now, others of you though, you do have, like I said, you got a turn here coming in with money. So if you're into games of chance, I'd say keep swinging at them because this is where you hit some money. But it also too, for some, maybe again with purchasing something, I feel like you might get a better deal on something than you realize is available, especially with the way the economy has been so crazy in the United States and really internationally. You may find that you're actually able to get better prices than you thought you could with something. So um, I, I just see this as being a real turning point for you. Well, I love the King of Cups. It's possible you're attracting an Aquarius or another water sign like a Cancer also here in the reading. Um, this is, again, a very mature, emotionally available individual. So even if it's a return, I do feel like this person has grown up quite a bit. And they also, if it is somebody who's coming back, they realize what they lost. Uh, they might not come at it quite that clear, but it, it is going to get there. Okay, I think they are going to reveal that. I, I don't think that they have any pride around that where they'd hide it. But in a new relationship too, though, this is somebody, I feel like they're a real caretaker. They might work in a helping profession like healthcare. Um, even if it's in like some kind of pharmaceutical sales, which I understand you might go helping profession and pharmaceutical sales. Okay. Um, but you know what I mean? They're, they're somehow connected to healthcare, I feel, for somebody here. But I also can see this too as a teacher or anybody, counselor, anybody who really cares about humanity, wants to help people. It's just a really great energy. And so I feel like they connect with you. They're going to be very compatible with you. Again, it might be another water sign. I do like that here. But it's also a card of self-development. So for you and your own career, this is the time where you're going to put some investment into yourself. And my gosh, that is the best investment of all. Some of you, it feels more like in the spiritual realm where you may go to some kind of workshops or something like that. Um, and even walking a labyrinth, I see somebody doing that. It's just like you just take your own spiritual, spiritual connection up a notch. And you might just do it all on your own, but either way, it's going to build something in you. It's that building into that whole knowing that you are a divine being. You're more than this physical body. So the Ten of Swords shows up. <clears throat> and that's that nine. I actually don't mind this here because it's a conclusion to something with that nine of swords. Now, I also feel like it might have to do with the seven cups. Those of you that are attracting new love interests or making a decision, it might create a bit of disappointment around you. There may be somebody here where it's just a case of unrequited love. You're not interested in them. And that's okay, too. There is somebody here. You've got a beautiful love story as we get into July and August. Even June is not bad for this, but I do like the aspects of July and August picking things up because it doesn't have this in it either. So with this, I do feel like um, there's a conclusion here, but there's nothing, there's no unfinished emotional business here. It just is what it is. We take it for face value. We don't look into this and we also don't look back. You know, there's a reason why the windshield on a car is so big and the rear view mirror is small. We don't need to keep looking behind us. We're moving forward. So with the eight of pentacles here, you are building, you're going to have an investment not only in yourself, but in a relationship too. I do feel like you're going to meet somebody that you want to commit to, especially if you've kind of been, hell, you might be on dating apps, just seeing what's out there, going here and there, but I think you're going to find somebody that catches your eye and it seems more meaningful than just let me keep my profile up on this app while I'm also going out with you. So with the Eight of Pentacles or vice versa, okay, if it's also them, they're going to take that thing down so fast. I mean, it's, it's going to blow up their phone, I think. Um, with this Eight of uh, Pentacles, so Eights are unity. Okay, so this is a card of coming together. There's no separation here. There's nothing to be concerned about or be aware of. Um, eights are rhythm, vibration. You are in sync here. Now, you're also in sync with a career, too. You're going to make gains. Anybody here, too, if you are working on something in terms of 
an independent project. I hear independent film for somebody, but if you're a photographer, you're doing something creative, painting, the arts, anything to do with that, um, even, God, even software, that comes in. I know that seems odd, but it may, maybe not, okay, as we, as we continue in this technological age. Um, I, I do feel like you're going to put in the research, put in the work, and when you get to the magician, things are going to start to happen for you. This is into July. Love the magician, doesn't everyone? So with the magician, they say, so above, so below. And I won't get into the deeper meaning, but it's, it has to do with sacred geometry. And also that really ultimately what is inside of you is also mirrored in the universe. Okay, so it's all a reflection. You're all, you're connected. You are the universe. So with this magician energy, this is absolute transformation. This is a taking off point. It's like throwing miracle grow and your ability to manifest. So be very aware of your feelings. I feel like with this, because those are the key. I do feel like with this though, you're in sync here. You're in flow. And so you're going to start attracting things. In a relationship, you've got great communication. I hear great sex. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be weird. But it, that's what they said. I, I usually say passion. I think most readers say passion and that's what they mean. But whatever. We're all adults here. Um, but there's real love and commitment here. It's going to be a very exciting time for you into the summer. I just feel like things come together and it feels awesome. So allow it to be so. With the magician too though, this is a concept of fake it till you make it. Believe it's happening. Know it's happening. And it will be yours. However, they do say here, keep your good ideas to yourself. You don't want to attract anybody who has lower vibrational limiting beliefs. So we continue to succeed here. The Three of Cups, those of you that are asking about reconciliation, you do have a reunion. But others of you too, this is an engagement. It's an absolute celebration. So what you're working on too with the Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles situation, you may find you're really celebrating here. This could be, this feels like, into July where it actually you actually take possession of something. So you lay the groundwork. It's all in flow. You're meeting the right people. Here's where it comes in, in that material sense. Now with the five of pentacles, you might have a bit of a reorganization financially. It doesn't mean you don't have money. I actually feel like it means you are going to be more intentional here. This doesn't have to be walking away as much as it's going towards. So you may leave behind frivolous purchases, not being aware of what you're buying. Whoever's got a bunch of clothes in their closet that are either new with tags or new and you've cut the tags off, you're not going to keep doing that. I also see somebody really purging some things over the summer, going more minimalist, and not because you you need to, but because it just makes you feel more organized and just feels better. This is also a card too. They're trying to tell you here, you haven't lost everything. You've got this partner here. So in terms of a partnership too, if you have a relationship that's taking off, you're moving in together, you've got an engagement happening here. Again, you may be editing out some of your friends if you've got some drunks around you or people that are just not serious. They're just not a match. You may find that the two of you kind of go off and you do more together, all right? And there's nothing wrong with that. So the star card is oftentimes associated with the number seven and eight. So for some of you, again, we're talking about this is July. It may be that telling you that seventh, eighth month. For some reason, my palm started itching just now. My grandma used to say that that means you're expecting money. So for some of you, again, there may be something lucrative here into July and August. But I want to tell you too, this is a card of self-care, of meditation, taking care of yourself. Again, I keep seeing stuff in this reading, somebody in a salt cave. If that's what you want to do, I've never been to one, but they look cool. Go do it. You know, it's that kind of thing where you just feel in flow. That could be a nice couple's date too, those of you that are getting into a relationship. But with this, in terms of a career or anything you're doing in, in a business, this is where it's an absolute match and you are flourishing. There's no downside to this energy. It's like you're going to have this energy of, of not just the hope and the insight, but this inner knowing. And it's really, you've got an influence over other people here too. Let's just call it what it is. So I do feel like as you try to present something, it's going to be taken really well. Again, anything you're doing to make a purchase, July feels like the time when it comes in. And when you're really, you know, maybe you're driving with that convertible top or that moonroof open, you've got the windows down in the house she always wanted to buy, that sort of thing. Here it is. Um, 
But with the star card, know that you are full in this energy. So August, we've got a love here that grows. This is the kind of love that is reciprocal. It's real. It's authentic and it isn't going anywhere. So into August, again, I do feel like you have a very solid commitment here. You are in love with your own life, Pisces. I almost see the Knight of Cups coming in here, representing you, where it's just that daydreamy energy. And I do feel like that I see somebody driving with the window, their arms kind of hanging out of the window. It's a nice summer day, and they are just in love with their own life, and that's you. So be in this energy, know that it's here for you because right next to it, you have the Empress. Now, she's the mother of the tarot, so we haven't talked too much about people in relationships, but somebody who already has a family, this is wonderful for fertility. So if you're expecting a, a baby in August or you are, you've been actively trying to procreate, here you go, August may be the ticket. With the um, energy of, of the Empress, though, She's ruled by Venus. So again, this is a card of luxury, creativity. Those of you that are starting some kind of a business concept, it's going to flourish in this. It is a card though also of, she's a, the multiplier of forms and ideas. So you're gonna have great energy, great ideas wherever you go, whatever you're doing in your life, but it's also always connected to love. She's a wonderful loving partner. So with the Four of Pentacles being here, it's like the four legs of a table. Some of you are going to really be doing an overhaul, just looking at your finances. It doesn't feel like lack as much as it feels like organization. That keeps coming in in the reading. So if you just are looking around and you know you have heaps of stuff, you may decide to go through it here too into August and take some measures to get things more organized and stable. With the Page of Swords, this is that adventurous energy. He's a messenger though. So there's going to be some communication here that I do feel like moves you forward. It's also a bit of a protective energy. So I do feel like in a relationship, you're going to continue to grow, but I also think you're going to grow more protective of that relationship, have good boundaries around it so that nothing messes with it. So whatever that means for you. So let's see here what the angels have to say for Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please. Okay. What else does Pisces need to know? Okay. All right, we have here romance. I haven't had that the whole time, I don't think. You've got be assertive. You don't have much fire, so there may be just an extra push. And they say, trust, know the universe is bringing in what you want right now because you're ready. And you've got a yes, you can have, do, or be anything. This is from Abraham Hicks, Ask and It Is Given. In my appreciation, I offer no resistance. Appreciation and self-love are the most important aspects you could ever nurture. Appreciation of others and the appreciation of yourself are the closest vibrational matches to source energy of anything we have ever witnessed anywhere in this universe. So good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you and I'll be back again soon.